This is one of more than 150 collisions and disabled vehicles across the island. There were no reports of serious injuries, but in this case, the SUV ended up positioned in a way that made it tough for even a tow truck to pull it out of a snowbank. But other trucks? The snow plows around the county were able to clear the roads, as residents told us. They did do it like early in the morning. I mean, it's very good. Very good job. He was among the many, many people out clearing snow in front of their homes, and it wasn't always easy for everyone. After 26 attempts to get their snowblower to work, not that anyone's counting, brothers John and Daniel Dossey switched to the old-fashioned way. It snow's light enough, yeah. so the shovels aren't yeah. that bad today. They shoveled out the home of their neighbor, Eleanor Smitkowski, who says she misses shoveling. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I just fell two weeks ago, so I'm walking with the walker. But you're looking at the concern ahead. Temperatures will drop and winds will make it feel even colder. When the roads are going from snowy to wet and then the temperature drops, obviously ice is the big danger. So if you don't have to drive, please don't. But it's not all warnings and precautions. <laughs> this part of Long Island got some of the deepest snow in the region. <laughs> and many families took full advantage. Kids are having a ball, and, and their dad's having a ball too, so. Long Island had dozens of school cancellations, but not everywhere. They're at lunch now for virtual, so they, they honestly have an hour and a half break. Are you looking forward to going back to school? Yes. And that was not the answer we were expecting, but she ends up getting the best of both worlds, right? Gets to go out and play in the snow and have school. Here in Syosset, one of the deepest snow fall levels in the region, uh, between eight and nine inches. But to put it in perspective, you know what this is? Yeah, it's a marker that helps firefighters find fire hydrants that get covered in snow drifts. Clearly, no concern about that on this snowfall. But the season's just getting underway. Reporting live from Syosset, I'm James Ford, Pix11 News.